So what you're going to want to do is use these. These are 15 millimeters long, 8 millimeters outside diameter, and 6 millimeter inside diameter. And this is how we're going to adapt our studs for the Minarelli build. And these are made out of stainless steel. These are not those helical springs you use for strip things. Just don't cheap out. Use these. Let me put these in and I'll show you more in a minute. Alright, so I like to leave them about like that, all the way around. That way, it lets me align the gasket for the motorized bicycle. And I can actually unscrew these by hand. They, they don't have to be hand tight. But what it is, is we're going to use these as an alignment tool. And the spacer will sit on top of this too, and sit perfectly square with the motorized bicycle bottom half. So let's do that next. You can kind of see how it just keeps it aligned and now when I put my uh, spacer on it's going to actually keep it in line as well since they're 8mm holes and all the spacers, I, I don't know why they do that, but we got 8mm holes so it sits on top of those perfectly and keeps it aligned while we put the rest of the engine together. So you can see and it doesn't move at all so now we're perfectly centered right in the middle of the bottom half that's why I like to do it like that with slightly longer ones usually everyone does it with 10 millimeter ones I like to do it with 15 and that way you have something to align everything with straightforward to spin them in till they stop spinning one two let's go slower huh okay there's three Four. All right, let's put the top end down. So when you're done with that, you should be able just to take the factory head gasket, put it on, and I'm going to be using the factory head actually on this one. It's what I decided to go with. go so with 120 millimeters that's what you're left over with for studs all right let me show you what I use for hardware next so I'm gonna just reuse my old hardware I just use the nuts like that with a lock washer Set the uh, torque wrench to 10 foot-pounds and then uh, torque all these You kind of want to go in a cross pattern so you hear the first one click. But anyways, let me do this so I don't screw it up. <laughs> and that's pretty much it, putting the head on. I just torqued them all down to 10 foot-pounds and we're good to go.